I'm Sonali. In this video, I will show you how to use the form presenter. How to install form presenter, which are the different features of the form presenter. How to apply timer for your test. And all you needed to conduct the online test. These are the different features. Power present. See, these are the features. Power present your Google form. Time, action, presentation, audience, invite, dashboard, Google Classroom. These are the different features for this. Set up timer for your Google form. Action control. These are the different features of action control. Run your form using the presentation control. You can add the custom logos, background, images for your Google form. And they look like this. So, let's start with this. First, login into your Gmail account and open your drive. Go to your drive, click on a new and create one page. I had already created one page here with the some questions. So now we will start how to install add-on. So just click on this three dots and click on add-on. Just click on this add-on. So here you will get the list of different add-ons. Just type the name of the add-on here. So here type form presenter presenter plus timer just click on it and here is form presenter just click on this to install this form presenter here is a different feature of form presenter you can just overview this you can read the information of form presenter here here you can read the, all the information about the form presenter and then you can install this. Just click on install to install this. This form presenter plus timer needs your permission in order to start installing. So just click on a continue and allow this terms and terms of services and privacy policy. So read first all the instructions, read this privacy policy, and then you can continue with this. Select your Gmail account for installing this. Add on, then just this will allow form presenter plus timer to view and manage your form, connect to an external services, send email as you allow this application to run when you are not present, display and run third party web content in form and sidebar inside the Google application. So, if you are agree, then just click on it, allow. And after this. You will get the message successful installation of this add-on. So just click on it done. So now this add-on is installed for your Google form. So just close it. And after this, you will get this type of arrow, this add-on icon on your form. So just click on this and select the form presenter plus timer. I had installed the different add-ons, so here is a list of add-ons. Just use the form presenter plus timer. And after this, just click on a setup. So here you will get some time if you are logged in in more than one account, then here is some error. So first log out from all the accounts and then try to connect. So here you can add the image here. You can add your profile image, your uh, subject image. You can add image as per your requirement. Choose image from folder. So select your image from here. Suppose I want to add this image. So select the image here. So this is my image. Then title. If you want to change the title, you can change it. See here is the in your case, here is the one title. But if you want to change the title, you can change from here also. Here you can add the uh, date. If you want to change the title dynamically, uh, you can uh, do this. Okay. So welcome message. If you don't want the welcome message, just copy. But I want the welcome message. So okay, presenting form GK internet. Okay, you can uh, change this message. Okay. Here show instruction. So enable this. If you want to give the same instruction to the student, then here you can write the instruction. I have written the instruction in description box. Also. Okay, so you can just copy and uh, 
you can write this instruction here also okay so here i'm changing this timer only because okay you can do the uh, instruction uh, here then themes in themes you can change the uh, theme just click on the background if you want to change the background of open page then just click on the background and you can change the background image if you want i want this type of a image so i'm just using this image for a sample after this here time control control when and how long the form be accessible okay you can select this always option or you can use the specific time okay if you want to uh, do the test at a specific time to the student then you can uh, select this you can schedule the test you can uh, select the date suppose you want to date uh, you want the date 15 then select the 15 start time in train time okay so this add-on reduces the need of a different add-on okay uh, in the previous videos i had explained how to do the limited response time by using the combination but when you are using this form presenter add-on no need to install the tuligo timer or form limiter or the different timer because in this form presenter all the features are covered okay so you can select the specific timer or you can select this option always okay depending on your need okay so always i'm selecting the option always and set the timer okay here you can set the timer for your tool i'm just setting here the two minutes to, to show you how actually it works okay you can set in the timer as per your requirement allow one break see here you can allow the break Okay, break means what? The uh, participant can move from this form and go to the other chat. Okay, but uh, this uh, stage timing is only two minutes, so I'm not allowing the any break. So alert before one minute. Okay, if you want to give the alert message to the participant, just click here. Alert before one minute. Okay, then form is a closing form. So alert message is form is a closing form. Submit up before. Timeout. Okay, you can change this message also. Then after this, audience control. You can use this audience control. Control who can log in and how many attempts. So you can enable this. Enforce login by audience. You can uh, use the email or for the particular domains also you can use. I'm selecting just the option any. If you want to do this option, select it. Allow maximum one attempt. Okay. For the test, I'm giving only one chance to the student, to the participant. So just select here. Okay. Then action control. Okay. In action control, there is a different feature. Capture photo of the student. Enforce full screen. Means the participant can't go to the another task. Then track full screen. Track focus. Track device information. Track focus means how many times your participant left from uh, your uh, task, from your uh, form. Okay, so you can calculate all this. You will get the information of all this, but for this, you need to upgrade the plan. So, this feature is not available in free plan. So, in other settings, also there is a setting show quiz show. If you want to display the score to the participant, just click here. If you don't want to show the score to the participant at this moment, so deselect it. Okay, and then after this, click on a save setting. Okay, so after this setting, just click on publish form to publish this form. Okay, and so after this, you will get the link. You can send this link by using any social media. You can use the, uh, you can send this link via uh, Google Classroom, via WhatsApp, or email. See, view publish form, you can see the uh, preview of this form from here. Just click here, so you will get the preview of this form. Then Copy link to clip, uh, clipboard, view audience dashboard, then Google Classroom. You can use this any option. Okay, publish the form. Just click on a copy link to clipboard and you can send this link to the participant. Just click on a, uh, your WhatsApp where and you can send this message or you can uh, just click on a Google Classroom and you can paste the link to the student. Okay. I'm just opening the new tab and in that we will see we will check this form. Okay. 
So here is a form presenter and here is login to form presenter to access your form. So just click on a sign in with the Google. Okay. So you will get the uh, form. And see, this is your welcome page. See, this is first logo and this is background image. Last is background image. The background is background image. And here is the instruction for the student. You have zero out of one attempt remaining. See, here is the number of attempts you have taken. The student attend the test. You have a limited time for the five questions are there for the 10 marks and finally two minutes. I have given the two minutes timing. You can set as per your requirement. Okay, here is your page name, logo, and just click on a start to start your test. So when you are clicking on a start, see here is a timer and timer is in a decreasing order. Here is your profile, current timing of the test, started test. Okay, here is the information. Okay, so uh, zero out of one attempt remaining. Okay, so just uh, enter the information here. So So just uh, you can select the this and see in your form uh, by default there is a one uh, question submission tracking ID do not change it uh, students please don't delete it and give the instruction to your student don't delete this field it will save the uh, submission tracking ID this is the ID for submission tracking ID this is important for tracking purpose so don't delete this okay. So, which of the following is the north of browser? Okay, see here is the uh, information. See, uh, one uh, minute and two seconds are there. When there is only one minute is left, then here is the alert. Okay, alert is here. So, select do the answer within a time and submit your test. So, submit the test in a time. See, only this uh, much seconds are remaining, 38 seconds are remaining. So, submit the test before the time. Just click on submit to submit your test. So, see, here is your test. If your response has been recorded. Okay. In this way, you can use this form presenter. So, you have uh, this uh, time left. The record is here. Time left. This total time is this. Uh, current time and started as time this. Okay. And your response has been recorded successfully. In this way, you can use this form presenter for your quiz. And you can delete this. See, here is a republish form. You can republish it. If you don't want to republish it, if you want to delete this, then you can just click on unpublish form. Just click on here, unpublish form. So now this form is unpublished. Okay. So this link is no more. Active. Okay, so in this way you can apply the form presenter for your quiz. Okay, and after this you will get the response here. Okay, here is response here. Okay, this is like a normal quiz. Just click on this uh, create spreadsheet, and so here you will get the list of responses. Okay, in Excel sheet you can import this. You can download this quiz for your purpose. Okay, just click here. Okay. So in this way, you can create the form presenter for your quiz. So in one application, you will get the different benefits like a logo. You can uh, for the branding. Then you can change the background color. You can give the instruction. You can uh, give the. Uh, you can set the timer for your quiz. You can set the different settings here and uh, many more features like the audience control and track control, action control. These more features are available in this uh, form presenter array. Thank you. If you have any query in this, please write it in the comment box. I will try to solve this all the questions. Thank you very much. If you like my video, please share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.